Hello, and welcome back to today's episode of Date in a Blink, where we're hosting Brooke and Albert for a Blink date. What is Date in a Blink, you ask? It's a 10-minute, audio-only, blind speed date experience. It's also a bit of a social experiment designed to move people beyond looks-based assumptions, curated profiles, and marathon messaging. We at The Blink Date want dating to be fun and inspiring for Blinkers and hope this podcast inspires you to try new ways of meeting people and dating. Will our hand-picked matches find love on these Blink Dates? Or will they say goodbye to each other after 10 minutes and never look back? If you're new here, we're so happy you could join us. If you're a regular, we're so glad you've returned. Before we jump into today's Blink Date, here's a quick word from our sponsors. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain a bit. It's totally free, and Anchor will distribute the podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and lots of other podcasting platforms. Not only that, but it has creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. It also lets you make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make your podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. We're here on Date in a Blink today with Brooke and Albert. I'm going to let you two dive in, but in case it's helpful to get the conversation started, I'm going to leave you with this question. What is one thing you wish to achieve in your life? All right. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm, That's a great question. Just literally one thing. Hmm. Um, I think that I... I think if I had to pick one thing, it's pretty general, um, is that I just want to have a family. Um, I, and I don't know what that looks like. Right. So it's like, I don't know how that unfolds, but I know for me personally, um, I'm very close with my family and it's like day in and day out. The one thing that if I had to ask myself, what am I grateful for every day? It's my family. So, um, I want to have that of my own. Again, like, I don't really know how that shapes up. I grew up with like a, you know, mom and a dad that stayed married for like 33 years. So they were a great um, example of, you know, what it takes to be in a long committed relationship. Um, And then I have an older brother. So that's kind of like what my family unit looks like. But um, I'm enjoying as I grow up seeing all sorts of different families and different ways to achieve that. So over to you, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. I mean, uh, piggybacking off of you, what you just said. So, yeah, it seems like you do want a family. Are you, are you picky about, like, you, you know, you want a boy or a girl? It doesn't really matter. No, no, no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I even, like, I have a dog right now. I have a French bulldog, <laughs> and I consider him my family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, however that, however that um, kind of turns out, I'm definitely not picky. What about you? Uh, well, I'm assuming your dog is spoiled. My dog is spoiled. Um, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> get, get, uh, uh, for me, I, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of like believing like the whole circle of life. I do do like everything coming back full circle and like giving back. Um, like right, right now, I'm, I'm a teacher, and I mean further down the line, I do want to somehow give back to the community, whether it's being a professor and teaching the future generation of teachers or some kind of nonprofit organization. So I'm a big believer in just uh, giving back one way right. or another. So. I like that. What kind of teacher are you? Special ed. So. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, How long have you been doing that for? Uh, this is my first official year hired okay. by the district. Um, so yeah, it's uh, but I've been doing, uh, I've been in the field for, I think about seven years, just up and down, like, well, they call them parent and me classes now. They're not mommy and me classes, but parent and me classes. Um, I was a behavior therapist, a living skills instructor, a resident advisor, up and down the, uh, everything. And so, right, right. I think uh, special. It's finally, you know, it's my my calling, and I mean, I have a lot of fun with it. Um, I love I have, that. Yeah. So, I uh, I have a lot of respect for teachers. I um I recently started a um. I joined a program that is like a mentoring program um, 
for our kids in high school. And I'm only like three weeks in and it's just, um, it's so rewarding and so fun, but it's hard to, you know, initially connect or open up with the kids. And then once they do, you guys become like buds and stuff. But initially, you know, we're like asking questions and they didn't really want to talk. And you have to kind of think of on your toes, all these different ways to connect with all sorts of different people because kids are, you know, they're learning and, um, and some of them are really gregarious and outgoing and ready to talk and others not so much. And I give you guys a lot of accolades. Uh, you're, you're, you were the older ones, right? Yes. Yeah. I got, the, I got the babies. I got the TK ones. I got the Oh, do one. you? Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, Super uh, cute. It's uh, I, it's a lot, of, a little bit easier entertaining them, just being right. really over the top and goofy, and, and you know, my voice. I don't know. I could be like a Disney character. I got like the three different voices that I use Stop. when I teach. Wait, so, really? Which yeah. ones? Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if you're, I guess, familiar with, I guess, certain people in the field. Like, there's this character, Blippy, really over the top, like it's Blippy, like really uh, high pitched <laughs> voice. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's this, there's all these like famous characters and um, when it comes from music i'm just really i mean i can't sing but i mean but you know the You've best got the thing range. About, yeah the, the best thing about the little ones they don't judge so right uh, I, as long as i'm getting the lyrics right that's all they care <laughs> Even right 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 <laughs> what kind of what kind of songs are you singing like are they from like kids programming or yeah, they, uh, yeah. Again, so I'm gonna throw another name out there. Uh, okay. Guess we'll get out later, but another guy named Jack Hartman, like really. Okay. These, I don't know. Yeah, so, but oh, it's just these uh these fun songs, you know, all music and movement. You know, touch your eyes. You know, hands on your right. shoulder, swim like right. a um, like a shark, etc. So I love that. So with that being your um your profession right now, um, do you find yourself just really a kind of like wanting a family and kids and all that or because I, I do know teachers that are like really good with kids and but they're like oh yeah like I'll never have kids <laughs> I'm like oh yeah. wow uh, I mean yeah it, it all depends um I mean I have a big passion for what I'm doing now and right uh yeah I do want kids that's uh I mean I don't I don't see myself teaching forever I, I do appreciate those teachers that do like you know 30 years into teaching right uh, I know my expiration date i know how long it can last uh particularly with the little ones like right it's a lot of energy but yeah. <laughs> like I, said, I i know my expiration date i know how long i can do my job and, and be good at it so eventually like i said maybe can be a professor down the line and uh right and uh yeah that's kind of like your end goal yeah uh, i know for sure the college students won't give me a hard time <laughs> <laughs> well not that kind of a hard time <laughs> yeah 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 it's a different hard time yeah so yeah i was always a good student though i would take pride in that that i was part of the the group of people that were like okay i'm gonna make your job i'm gonna try and make your job easier because i see how it can be difficult <laughs> but are you in the los angeles area or where are you located mm. Laura here. Unfortunately, we had some audio issues for the last few minutes of this date. Rather than omit the ending, which had some really funny and interesting tidbits, my partner and I decided to attempt a dramatic reenactment of Brooke and Albert's date. Brooke and Albert, we know we couldn't fully capture your personalities. Please forgive us. We hope you enjoy this. Yeah, I'm in the LA area, so we're still waiting to be open, but... Yeah, I relocated outside of LA, but it was... um. I would go back here and there and I was like, wow, it's really, really shut down. It kind of feels like a ghost land. So what do you do for fun then? Well, I'm, I'm like a big beach person. So I like to go to the beach, um, which was nice because that was like open. Well, there was a part where it wasn't, but I'm a huge outdoors person too. So I like going on hikes and biking, um, running outside. So luckily all of that stuff has been open. Is your dog lucky enough to join you on these adventures? <laughs> uh yeah he'll he'll join me on walks he's uh he's not as agile as most dogs um so yeah uh he's definitely athletic ah. but he um you know he prefers to be a sunbather oh so he just wants to be out in the sun yeah he's not like that athletic i've always been jealous of people who have those dogs that like you know they'll go skateboarding or biking and the dog is next to them 
Yeah, mine, um, I guess a quick story. My dog's a rescue. Oh. So she has, uh, well, obviously she's spoiled now, but she pretty much tries everything without hesitation. I love that. She's like, oh, I've never done this before. Let me try it. Let me try this. And so she's always willing to try something, even though she might not like it afterwards. <laughs> she might be mad at me, but she's like, oh, all right, I tried it. All right. Like, she'll get over it. Uh, when did you rescue her? About uh, a year. So the first year and a half of her life, she was pretty much chained up. So when I took her, she had never touched grass before. <gasps> she didn't know what a leash or harness was. She's still pooping outside. So she'll do a circle because she's so used to going, you know, on a pad. Right, right. So it's kind of funny because she's doing a circle while going number two. Right. You're like, okay, you got to stop moving. Yeah. So she's going bungee jumping, parasailing. Bungee jumping? No way. Yeah. She's done like everything. She's gone sailing. Oh, so you're one of those people I was commenting on, except like to the extreme. Not like the bike or the skateboard, but like the boat. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, she had a bad life, so I want her to never think of that again. Just look forward. But, yeah, I mean, similar like yours, she likes to lay out in the sun. I just found out like two days ago there's sunscreen for dogs. Oh. Because our dog's fur has been getting a lot darker. Oh, I didn't know that. Is it like in lotion form? Yeah, it's a spray that you put on the coat. My dog, she's a Maltese poodle, so in the sun, her fur starts turning gray. At this point in the date, I jumped in to let them know that their date had ended and let them say their farewells. Despite the audio glitches at the end, this date was really fun to crash. A dog who bungee jumps? I'd like to see that video. Albert and Brooke started off with some serious topics like family and long-term goals, and I loved how they transitioned to fun, hobbies, and their dogs. It feels like 10 minutes isn't long enough. We barely scratched the surface on Brooke's sunbathing pup and Albert's adventurous Maltese poodle mix. Maybe they could do a puppy play date, but who knows? That's all we've got for you today. Shoot us a message on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at The Blink Date or at Date in a Blink to let us know what you think. If you want to sign up to participate in Date in a Blink, visit our website at www.theblinkdate.com. In the meantime, thanks for joining for this episode. We hope you enjoyed listening and look forward to talking with you again next time.